Howdy, folks. It is about 9.30 in the morning, and I had to go to the house, or leave the house, to do some stuff today, and I figured while I was out and about, may as well go try to catch some fish. So I'm at a uh, some apartment ponds here, and there's a pond up this way, and way at the other end, there's a little creek that feeds into it, and then it kind of feeds down here on this creek thing over into that pond. So I came over, I've got this one little rattle trap lure here on my light action. I found these, the H2OX is the brand, and look at this thing. It looks really nice, so I bought a couple of these for five freaking dollars. Now I figured this is a decent spot, if any, to uh, come see if it'll catch any fish. So I'm gonna throw this around. I got maybe an hour or so, maybe. So uh, hopefully we can get something done. Not the uh, ideal time of day for catching fish, but it's the time I got, so let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna start up on the top side of the ponds. It's uh, a little easier getting around, just walking down over to here. They do not uh, keep the banks too nice, and that side's kind of steep and really overgrown, so we'll go there next. But this side, a little bit easier walking around. Let's see what we can find. I know that there's largemouth in these ponds. I know that there's gar. Uh, occasionally, I can find a bowfin. And uh, once or twice, there's been a pickerel, which, you know, that's been a while, so who knows. But well, I'm looking for largemouth, but I'm gonna take anything. Is that a fish? Something bumped it. Huh. There's a real light bump. Something definitely bumped it. First sign I've had, thrown about 20 casts so far. Just kinda fanning out, covering the water, and then moving down to the next area. Come get it, come get it. He's thinking about it. Oh, I moved and scared him. Well, one of those little bass was really into this little guy. He liked it kind of popping around. I wonder if I can just kind of tease him in with it. Yeah, get it. Hmm. Well, he's not very big anyway. But he was definitely unhappy about it being around. I tell ya, these little sunfish are really into this thing. They really like to chase it down. Big hole. A bass right there in the water. Somewhat decent sized one. Should definitely want to eat this lure. If only my lure was somewhere near it. Well, I guess I can just run it back this way. He was kind of going to shore that way. Maybe he'll uh, hear the rattle, come check it out. Maybe he wants it. Nope. I can see a fish in the water right there by the edge of the green. It looks kind of like a bass, but he's just kind of sitting still. Can't tell enough from here. It could be a small bowfin, which would be really great to run this thing by, but we'll see how he responds. Well, he's definitely checked it out, but it's got so much vegetation on it that he doesn't, doesn't care. Son of a bitch. 
Oh, that's got the barb in. This is gonna really hurt. Mm. Mm. This is gonna hurt like Dickens. Well, this, I get my pliers. Unfortunately, they're on my right side. Okie dokie. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <sighs> 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 yep, yep, this sucks. Well, I guess now we all know how the fish feel. One, two, three. <sighs> Gosh. <sighs> Not that bad. Not that bad. Ah. <sighs> Alright. I've uh, sat and cursed myself for a good little while. It's not that bad. But man, freaking hurts. I, uh, I was trying to pop it up over all of this to not get snagged in, and it uh, came right at me. Well, these things happen. That's uh, the worst hook I've had in me in a good long while. The actual worst hook I've had in me was when I was maybe 19 or 20-ish. I was uh, trout fishing with my grandpa way back in the day. It would have been 2007, probably. And uh, I was doing something with my hook and it slipped and it went under my thumb all the way up to where you could see it under the fingernail. and. I tried to grab it with the pliers, and at the time, I just could not bring myself to yank that sucker out. So, went over to my grandpa, It's like, I need your help. Ugh. I need you to yank this thing out of me, because I ain't got the gumption to do it. And my grandpa is a Korean veteran of the Marine Corps, and, uh, well, he don't give no shits. So he just went, meh, okay, I'll do that. And he just grabbed it and yanked without any kind of warning or nothing and out it came and uh as i sat there whining he just said oh shut up and bleed on my bait for me speaking of there's something right there what is that that does not look like a bass it's got a real long flowing tail on it let me sneak up in here because i think it's a bowfin Real small one. He's got his face up under the plants. Yep, that's a bowfin. Watch this. Yep. Yep. Bowfin are so easy. Run it out. Look, I don't have a super strong rod here. I need you to run it out get a little tired. This is the exact reason I brought these. So, well, it came off, but uh, I didn't get stabbed again. So count that as a win. Nice, good old quick release, you know, just, it's easier on the fish. But I'll take that. <sighs> Let's see what else I can find around here. Big turtle in the water right here. Long tail, it's probably a snapping turtle. He was looking at this baby bass, but he saw me point at him and took off. I saved you, baby bass. He had a real long tail.
There's a fish. Finally, a bass. Little bitty guy. And you missed. You got a hook in your face, like a dingus. Calm down, you're making it worse. Well, not a great hook placement, but it's not actually in your eye. So it's gonna suck a little. I just learned how much it sucks. But there we go, nice and out. We'll get you right back. But hey, the lure finally caught something. I've walked a good little ways around this pond. I don't count the bowfin. They will eat literally anything they see. I could have thrown a stick in front of his face and he would have bit at it, so. Well, we're at the end of this pond. Oh, well there's a fish. I accidentally hit the grass and something just grabbed it right there. All right, well, I'll take that. Just about to say, we, uh, we hit the end of this pond and ain't really had much luck, but there you go. Fish number three on this lure. Take it, bit more, a bit better of a fish. Pretty okay for this little pond. But thank you, buddy. This is more what I was after. Well, hell. All right, normally there's water all through right here. Get a golf ball and you can't really walk on it. And this pond is normally filled up and flowing out there and that's what feeds everything. But uh, I guess it has been pretty hot and dry wonder if that means any fish in here will be extra hungry because there's not a lot of extra space for them to go find food we'll give it one little shot see if we can pull out got a little waterfall over here usually throwing right over by the waterfall will net you a fish because there's usually bass and stuff waiting down by it yep oh jesus that is not the fish i was expecting but good old green sunfish man they like to eat above their weight class yeah 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 let me get your spines down we all need the pliers This lure is just a little bit too big for you, buddy. And that gill plate is not an easy place to get a hook out of. It's hard to get a good twist on it. There we go. Bottom of the mouth. Not super great, but doable. Come here, dude. Let me show you off. All right. Nice green sunfish. It's a little bit small for the lure, I guess, but they're they're vicious and voracious. I'll take it. Let's see what else might be over here. Wing a couple over to the other side. I don't know how deep it is over there. I'm gonna have to move it kind of quickly through there. That lure's tangled on itself, so that don't count. <sighs> Try that again. Fish on the drop? If there was, it came off, I think. Or he's swimming to me. I think he's swimming to me. Yeah, he's swimming to me. Oh, jeez. You've got to be kidding me. What is with this? A little long ear. Well, at least I'm catching some diversity, but uh, I complain all the time when these little guys eat my rooster tails because they have the smallest mouth of all these sunfish around the area. 
and they always manage to get all the freaking hooks in their mouth somehow whenever I've got a treble hook. But they're pretty little guys, but you, you're trying to eat above your weight class too, man. That one, that lure is way too big for you. Look at that. That's almost as big as you. Get out of here. Well, not the best fishing trip I've ever had. Not even like out of this specific pond. I uh, hooked myself, I hooked the bow fin. I did catch a couple bass and uh, I caught some really aggressive sunfish and then absolutely nothing. I wanted this little guy once I switched over. So I don't think it's the lure's fault. I mean, clearly the rattle trap worked because it caught more fish than this thing. And this is delicious, look at it, I'd eat it. I think it's just that it's so dang hot these fish do not want something they have to chase down. So I should have brought a real slow moving little kind of jig along the bottom bait, which frankly I don't have time for anyway. So it is what it is. I caught some fish. I had an okay time. I hooked the hell out of myself and it kind of hurts. And I got other things to do, so I'm going to go do them. Catch y'all next time.